Good day everyone, you're watching Great Two Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Now, after you update to Windows 11, if you realize that your system is not working correctly or some of the crucial features you need are not working as expected and troubleshooting didn't help you, then you might want to go back to Windows 10. In that situation, this video will help you to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Now, before you downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10, there are some of the system requirements which you need to meet in order to complete the downgrade. Now, the first thing is you can only downgrade to Windows 10 within the 10 days of your upgrade. For example, if you have upgraded your Windows from Windows uh, 10 to Windows 11 on March 1st, 2022, and you decide to downgrade to Windows 10, on March 15, then you will not be able to downgrade because it has to be within 10 days from the time you have upgraded your Windows from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Now, the next condition is your previous version of Windows files uh, that is typically Windows.old folder and other required files should be present on your system. If these, if above requirements are not met, you can't go back to Windows 10. In that case, um, for going back to Windows 10, you need to do a clean install installation of Windows 10. Now, these, these system requirements need to be met to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. And apart from this, there are also some of the additional steps which you need to follow before you are downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. The first thing is you need to make sure that you have a backup of your data so that whenever you downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10, you don't lose any of the data. So let me walk you through step-by-step -step instruction on how to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Now as a first step, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button, then click on system. Once you're on the system option, uh, you will have to click on system again. Now on the right hand side, you will have to click on recovery. Now once you're on the recovery option, uh, recovery, you will click, uh, you will have to go through the recovery option. Now these are the three options which will be available then when you're ready to go back to windows 10 you will have to click on go back now in my case uh, you would see that the go back option is being grayed out that's because it's been more than 10 days i have upgraded my windows from windows 10 to windows 11 since it is more than 10 days i will not be able to downgrade my windows to windows 11. however for the demonstration purpose i will walk you through a step-by-step -step instruction with a screenshot so so when you're ready to go back to windows 11 from windows 11 to windows 10 you will have to click on go back on the next screen you will have to choose the reason why you're going back from windows 11 to windows 10. so once you have uh, selected the reason you may go ahead and click on next and on this window you can go ahead and check for the updates if that doesn't work you may click on no thanks and that will take you to the next screen and this is the window of what you need to know this might take a while and you won't be able to use your pc until until it is done so you will have to leave your pc plugged in and turned on so there are a couple of things what you have to keep in mind uh, once you go back to windows 10 you will have to go ahead and reinstall some of the apps and the program and uh, there are highly chances that you might lose the any changes made to settings after the upgrade to windows 11. another thing what you will have to also have to keep in mind is you have to remember your windows 10 uh, password in case if you had assigned a password for your windows login make sure you keep that handy and uh, you don't forget that and at the same time also make sure your files are backup and this should not affect so these are the things what you have to keep in mind once you're good to go you may click on next and the next window will appear on the screen and uh, like i mentioned earlier if you have used a password to sign into windows 10 make sure you keep that handy so once you have the password and all the information handy with you click on next and this will take you to the uh, next window which says thanks for trying windows 11 and um, you may click on go back to windows 10 once you're on this page uh, you would see an option um, your system will now restart after restart you will see attempting to recover the installation you would see the screen and in few moments you will see restoring your previous version of windows 
and this will take time depending upon your system and data being restored once you're on this page once the uh, restoring your previous version of windows is completed after this your system will restart and this time you will see windows 10 boot screen and the next few moments you should be able to log in to your windows 10 after you log into your windows make sure your windows 10 version and uh, your windows your you should be good to go to use your windows 10 so this is a quick tutorial how to downgrade your windows from windows 11 to windows 10 i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day